performance. Uh, just extremely proud of who she is and what a special filly. You know, four runs this year, three grade ones, um, emphatic victories, and uh, for her to give it the exclamation point of uh, the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies and the style and speed in which she did it is uh, extremely pride prideful. And you're allowed to brag on who her sire is well, four years ago. You know, there. I was thinking about, uh, you know, the first Breeders' Cup at Del Mar, Gunrunner wins the Classic, and then for her on the, being out of the first crop and uh, him following the Gunrunner tradition at Del Mar. The only way you top that is if she has a baby and they come back. Well, we, uh, that's a little ways down the road. We got some business to take care of today, and so hopefully uh, expecting them to and think that they'll run well and go from there. You've had a lot of top fillies, two year old fillies, three year old fillies, older um, fillies and mares, including Kentucky Oaks winners. But you made an interesting point yesterday about her, the difference between her and some of your other um, filly well, champions. It, it, right. I mean, you know, um, I think that the question was. Um, how the how she compared to the couple of the Oaks winners that went Ron had and the, they were horses that improved and you know, reached that level and this Phillies where she started out is so much ahead of them but it, it's she's a speedier filly and uh, well, um, and uh, accepted and took more pressure early but uh, it would be hard and uh, three time grade one and win in Philly out of four runs, that's uh, pretty hard to manage. And again, teaming with uh, your family's longtime client, the Winchells on something like this with the, you know, and... Well, I, I think, you know, Ron's program works. You know what I mean? Doc, uh, Dr. Lambert and his team and uh, David Fisk and Ron. I mean, I'm just extremely fortunate uh, to be a part of it. You know, dad, uh, I think it's something that Vern, Ron's father, and my dad started and for us to be in this position and, you know, the, it's it's great to make the family proud but it, it's we're all pulling in the same direction trying to get the same thing done and uh, for to have a daughter of gunrunner uh, be champion two-year-old filly in his first crop is quite the accomplishment and one thing about the gunrunners and gunrunner himself you can breed him to all those tappet mares. You could bring heart <laughs> well, that, her to like tap I said, it if you it, The program that uh, Winchell started started a long time ago, you know, and then starting with Vern, you know, Ron's father and stuff, and for uh, Ron to carry the banner and the silks and to reach these levels and to add on the success that they've had. And to, uh, hopefully, we're not done. We've got thing, uh, quite a bit more to accomplish. Well, speaking of not being done, you're not even done in the Breeders' Cup. You got a lot of. Um, top horses in today too, but just sort of reflect, we talked about it going into the Breeders' Cup, but this huge year you've had, and now you've got an unbeaten champion, you can right. for sure add to that list. Oh, absolutely, you know, and uh, I think we <laughs> extremely blessed to be in this position, as you mentioned, we feel like we have some excellent chances today also, and we need to add to that list. Uh, it's a great uh, position to be in. Just real quick, Steve, just talk about that race. She just did it so effortlessly yesterday. Uh, yeah, I think it's as simple as she's faster than they are, mm -hmm. you know, and I think that that's what she's been all year and she continues to be. Um, just extremely satisfying. When you look for a race uh, year mm -hmm. and uh, three grade ones in the yeah. style in which she's done it, you know, and she, all of her races are fast, her numbers are good, mm -hmm. and in, in the best company, so. That's as good as it gets. Well, in fact, there were some nice, well-regarded fillies in that race. No, yes, I, I mean, the you, right. Mm -hmm. You catch the Pocahontas winner. You catch the Alcibiades winner. And they, they made it here, and uh, she was better on the day, and we're very proud of that. Mm -hmm. I just loved she had her ears pricked the well, whole time. She just looked so happy. Were, like yeah, she was. Least, well, we, yeah. you know, we obviously watched the replay <laughs> and relived it, and you know, family and friends last night and mm -hmm. stuff. Just. She went under the wire happy and, yeah. you know, and just, just another mile story. later, she looked just as happy. I mean, that, <laughs> yeah. she, yeah. if you like watch the replay, she looked exactly yeah. the same both times she went under the yeah. wire. Yeah. And that was beautiful. Uh, where did you like watch the replay? Did you have it on an iPad and just keep playing it over and uh, over? Everybody, like, everybody, everybody, on, their everybody on their phones and stuff. And they just you know, watched yeah. every, when, as soon as somebody got it, we shared it and watched <laughs> it and shared it and watched it. And the great thing about it, same result every time. Same result every time. Yeah, right. 
it was it was a very comfortable race to watch though as far yeah. as with what's on the line and you want everything to go well it was immediately a pretty easy race to watch you know yeah. you're just like she's handling it she's traveling well and she looks like herself yeah and then all the other jockeys are you yeah, you're right. You, the, the, you got you got a little separation about yeah. the three eighths pole like she yeah. has on them and stuff, and she still looks as comfortable mm -hmm. as she has, and they look like they're yeah, needing to work to stay with her, and and that I, I think that that was the separation mm -hmm. that Gunrunner developed into, right. where you would see, you know, early in a race, um, they it, they were doing enough but somewhere in the middle, he was doing it easier than they were, and then you would see the separation. Well, I mean, isn't that one of the things that's gotta be even really exciting about her too, is she follows her pa, she's oh, just getting better, which is a little bit scary. Right, and she needs, a, she needs a bit of a break now so that she can fill in, you know, and she needs to grow. She's not a, bit, a big filly in stature, but that is, you know, as gun runner, I mean, he was extremely talented, but who he developed into the best in the world, I mean, he, his time, the year, his four-year-old year, the races that he put up and the times that he was throwing down are hard to match for anybody ever. He won a lot of very cool races. Uh, in the scheme of things, I mean, this has to be on your short list among the, the most cool of the very cool. Her year, I mean, her year, when when you had Gunrunner and he did everything that he did for us and the anxious, how anxious we all were to get to run his babies and then for her to be, you know, even being Echo Town's little sister, you know, who won the Alan Jerkins for us and stuff, and just what a what a great chance. Not a chance mating because of Betts, you know, Bill Betts who bred her and stuff. He had a plan, but for to have Echo Town win the Alan Jerkins mm -hmm. and get to go see her as a yearling mm -hmm. at Keeneland September, pretty much immediately afterwards, you know, you. It couldn't come together better. And then you're talking about having a gun runner, two-year-old first crop, uh, be this good. You're right. It's 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 extremely gratifying and special. Going into this, that the gun runners, the first crop of them. I mean, what were your expectations? Since he did get better as he got older, were you prepared to think, you know, he well, won no, first uh, time uh, out? Um, well, gun runner. It was in the fall. We had. Uh, Gunrunner was always fast. I mean, he, he was he was special. I mean, he was special in the summer of his two-year-old year, just uh, who he, physically and stuff, just wanted to be patient. And with him, didn't run him till they came back to races in Kentucky. You know, just didn't want to be overly aggressive with him earlier. Having Gunrunner babies and stuff, I mean, her having uh, speed influenced female family, Echo Zulu that is, you know, Echo Town, grade one winner around one turn, um, felt that we had a few that were out of sprint families that we could um, roll out there, you know, be somewhat aggressive with. And I think the three that we, that dad identified early as possible two-year-olds were Echo Zulu, uh, Gunite, and Wicked Halo, and two grade one winners and a grade two winner is pretty amazing, you know? And then for, uh, I think that it's quite obvious Gunrunner is uh, going to be a hard to match sire. 